Hey, it's Macro Geek. Um, talking today about Surface Pro 7 cooling. So, um, I occasionally game on my Surface. I have a gaming notebook. I know it's not a powerhouse, but there's a lot of, like, what could I comfortably have on here and run when I'm, you know, bored on lunch or traveling or whatever, and this is the notebook I have with me. Um, so I've been on some of the subreddits and communities and looking, and a lot of people are like, well, uh, get a fan and point it at the back, because that'll cool it. If you have the fanless i5 model, you know, pointing a fan at the back really helps. And I started thinking about that, and I'm like, is that the best way to do this? Like, and a lot of them use that gooseneck fan that has open blades, like they're foam blades, but you're like, mm, I'm not sure that's the best way to do that. So I started looking at it. And if you look at the Pro 7, there is a tiny vent slit here, and it goes all the way around. And if you look at a teardown guide, the CPU actually lives around here. And there, and there's heat pipes that go around the chassis, but there's no radiators. So they're counting on passive airflow. Um, so my thought was, what if I get like a blower style fan and I inject air into there, here or here or here? Would that help more than just blowing a fan on the back? So I started mocking up a design. Originally, I tried to 3D print something. I was like, I'll make like a backpack and put the fan in here and then put a duct up over the top. But that's just kind of beyond my completely self-taught crappy CAD skills. So I gave up on that and I'm like, for testing purposes, just to see if it's even worth doing, I'm just gonna try and find a way to mount a fan so that the blower can go straight in here. So I'm just gonna put it like a hat on top. It won't be fastened very well. And we can always iterate the design later if that makes sense. So um, I'll show you the design I worked up and I used um, Tinkercad because it's free and it's really easy to use. It's not complicated, it's web-based. Uh, I mocked something up in Tinkercad and printed it. All right, so you've seen how I printed it. This is what I actually ended up printing. So you can see in Tinkercad, I designed basically the edge of the notebook. Like I figured out the thickness and made it a big plane. And then I figured out I'd already bought this 75 by 15 blower fan off of Amazon. And I figured out how much space it required to get to... Oh, let me move this. To get to this nozzle here and to set it on top like that. And the result was this 3D printed bit. So if you look in there, basically it's just a box that sits on top of the surface and then it's got a duct that goes this way and, and smoothly pushes the air down. Um, so it can sit like this. Now I will tell you, I do not guarantee that this won't scratch your notebook, so use this at your own risk. You may want to sand it down or to redesign it and put felt pads in it or make something much better than what I designed. This was for a test. Um, so the way it works is the fan goes in here and it's kind of a tight fit. I haven't gone back and redesigned it, but you gotta like space that out with your finger or whatever. And you can see the fan fits like that. And then what I did was put it on top of the surface. Oop. Sorry, disconnected my keyboard for a second. There we go. And put it on top of the surface like that. And you got to be careful because your ambient light sensor is right here. So if you cover that up, your screen will go bright dark, bright dark, bright dark, and get confused. So I kind of line it up. Um, there's a microphone hole, and I leave the microphone hole uncovered. And then this fan that I bought off Amazon, which I will link in the video description, has a uh, USB plug on it. Now, I don't know if I would trust this with my Surface USB port, because, like, what if it shorts and fries my only USB? What I did was plug this into the accessory port on the power supply for the Surface. Um, and I just set it back behind the Surface and plugged that in. Also, I was concerned that it, by using the USB, it might affect the heat levels of the notebook, so I wanted it to be fair. So for the comparison video, or the benchmark comparisons, I plugged this into the Surface Power Rig. So we end up with this Franken cooler sitting on top of our surface, and for right now I'll plug it in and show you, but it's directing air down. I did a bunch of different testing on where to put this thing, whether it was this side or the middle or here, or try and clip it to one of the sides. The best results I found was lining up just to the right of the microphone hole. Um, does it help? 
I'll show you the benchmarks, but the long and the short of it is yes, I can get measurable difference in frame rate. I primarily used um, the superposition ben benchmark because I had that from a Humble Bundle. And I used Half-Life 2 Lost Coast because I knew it was a game that would actually run fluidly on the surface. And I ran the, the resolution up and could see a difference in frame rate. So I'll show you some screenshots of that. Um, does it prevent the surface from throttling? Uh, we ran a 30 minute CPU benchmark, like really tax the system. And the graph I pulled makes it look like it's probably still able to throttle. Well, what we saw was thermals that go up and down. The frequency goes up and down a lot, which typically means you're bumping the thermal limit and then the CPU is going down and then immediately regaining enough power to go back up. So um, now it ran stable through that benchmark. It just is probably inside, like the CPU is probably detecting the heat level and adjusting the, the frequency down. Um, but yeah, is it measurable? Is it worth it? I don't know. If you've already got a 3D printer and don't mind buying an eight or nine dollar fan, I guess fine, cool, whatever. Um, I would love to eventually build some sort of mount for an 80 millimeter fan and put it on the back like a backpack and see if cooling the whole flat surface does more. But the whole, um, I got a dumb idea and I want to see if it actually makes math work. Um, yeah, it kind of works. Is it worth it? I don't know. Uh, if you haven't bought a Surface yet, definitely just buy the Surface with cooling fan or go to one of the notebooks that has better cooling. Um, but if you already got a Surface Pro 7 and you want to kind of nudge another few FPS out of it, sure, this kind of works. So anyway, fun experiment. Um, I'll put together the rest of the video here in a second and show you some comparison side by side of the benchmarks. Um, but that's pretty much it for me for this week. Oh, I'm going to put this, um, this STL file up on Thingiverse. Uh, you can't use it commercially, but you can remix it. Uh, it's at your own risk. I don't warranty that it won't damage your surface or goof something up, but if you want to play with it and design your own stuff from it, feel free. Uh, I'll figure out how to host that. Uh, so that's all I've got for you today, but thanks for watching and, um, tinker away, you little mad scientists.